things have changed in the past 10 to 20 years, especially in the sense of, in respect to how we can access market research data. Um, so much is available at our fingertips now, unlike um, perhaps in the 80s uh, or even early 90s where we had to um, contract someone to really go to the primary source of market research information. And that mostly required getting a group of people into a room or approaching them individually at the doorstep or on the telephone. Whereas now with technology, social media, email, we can access people very remotely. So not only our access to information has changed, but how we store the information. Uh, databases and hard drives have, are always increasing. So um, the amount of information and the quality of information, like video, that can be stored. And now we have things that can actually analyze voice and turn it into text and analyze video and identify a specific brand uh, just through the, the computer itself. So a lot has changed. So market research is more than just doing research about customers and products. Um, it's about knowing your competition and perhaps turning them into potential partners. So in the case when I started preferences, um, we were looking at our competition here. Well, there's no, there's not really any research businesses in town, but there were. You know, they were just unlisted. Um, but uh, as we were seeking out our competition, we realized, okay, we're offering some services that they aren't. And we found a way to actually complement each other in our businesses moving forward. So you may offer a specific niche skill that your competitor may not be. And there's plenty of opportunity to collaborate on that front. As business owners, we have little time for ourselves. Uh, and as much as we love to give ourselves to our community, it's also very important to streamline how you're putting yourself out to the community. So in some cases, you may be able to volunteer or network in places that are much more effective for your purposes. We can very easily access what your industry best practices and challenges are. And that will really feed into maybe if you're experiencing a particular challenge, maybe you can just Google in um, how to deal with competitors or something of the, of the sort, right? And that will lead you to a whole bunch of information. But you'll have to also consider how reputable it is. But there's a lot of power for you to market yourselves by getting as close as possible to those individual interactions. Like Twitter may not be the solve everything for your business. Sometimes just picking up the phone, talking to someone, asking questions about who they are, what their consumer behavior is like in relation to your business, and just getting to know them. Really. That's, that's one of the, the primary sources of doing market research. So why is market research important? Well, it's important in so many ways. Really, it feeds into how you communicate. Uh, a lot of surveys um, you can do on your own, and they don't necessarily have to be formalized. They can be, uh, they can be a simple card to get information about who your clients are. Um, you can search information even through online about who your clients are. It's amazing. Uh, there's been situations where I've gone to meetings and I've been able to tell people more about themselves than they know, right? just by doing a search through a variety of <coughs> search engines. There's publications or maybe a write-up of you that you may not even know is out there. You know, when's the last time you searched your name on Google and did it? You know, your name, Peterborough. You may be surprised what comes up. 